Salutations, Queen of Shade here, coming to you with a little bit of a disclaimer. The video that I'm about to show you is of several of your favorite mainstream artists. Now, clips of what they have said has been taken and spliced together, and some of their comments have been blown out of proportion. But I'm showing you this video because the message that I want to send is clear. I walked away from the mainstream entertainment industry because I was not going to sell my soul to get what I wanted. I signed up to make art. I did not sign up to be controlled or to sell all of my intellectual property. I walked away when they asked me because I knew deep in my heart that that was not my way. I was put on this earth to do what I'm doing. I am a consummate entertainer. I have mastered what I do and so have many others. But now the inside is speaking out. The, there's a shift happening. The age of atonement has happened. The age of reveal and revelation is coming. And now it is being ushered in with this new year. And we're going to find out a lot about Hollywood and a lot about the people we look up to. The industry is rigged. Be careful where you go asking for help. And I want to say this to you. I feel the need to say this to you. First of all, I'm not Christian. I'm a shaman. So my beliefs and my movement are different. I need to say to you that there is no such thing as good or bad. That is not how the divine God, whoever you want to call the creator, that is not how the creator works. There is only choice and the consequences of your choices. If you make good choices, you will receive good consequences. If you make terrible choices, you will receive terrible consequences. Listen, if I eat cheeseburgers all of my life, that's a choice. The consequence is an early death. It is the same thing. What I am illustrating in the video that I'm about to show you is that it is a choice. But listen, the dark forces of man and whatever be, they get you through love. A lot of us are coming out of bad situations. Our parents, our grandparents need surgery and houses and our, our brothers and sisters need things. And that's how they get you through love. You sacrifice yourself to help some loved one. And that is your motivation. You go into slavery, not because you're running into it, but because you're saying, I got to help this person, this person, this person. When that person should be looking out for themselves and you should be banding together to figure out a plan. Let me tell you something. If that person loves you, you shouldn't have to do that for them. They should be side by side with you trying to put their head together to figure out what y'all can do to make a better situation for all of you. That's love. But the dark forces get you because it's like, oh, you got to help your mom. Oh, you got to help your dad. Oh, you got to do something for your kids. You know, that's how they get you. That's how it happens. The dark prince of this world is no fool. He's been fooling people for millennia. So you have to understand he's an age old being. And, you know, some people go, oh, it's God or, oh, it's the devil. I believe they're the same person. I'm sorry. In shamanism, I believe they're the same person just like this. If you walk to me, if you come to me and you are nice to me and you smile to me and you hug me, you're going to get nice from me. You're going to get a hug from me. But if you come to me and you accost me or you assault me, you're going to get the terror side of me that you wish you had never seen. I believe it's the same thing. It's how you play. How you entreat the energy is how you get the energy back. That's just life. So understand, don't be motivated by those things. Don't don't think that you have to save your whole family or save the whole world. And many of us, let's just be honest, a lot of the talent in Hollywood is black. Um, we feel that way. We are already in a situation that was rigged for us. They put us in ghettos and we were never supposed to get out. They deny giving money to us, but they'll take money from us to fuel this industry. So you just have to see that. Listen, you got to come up with another way. You got to be smart. You know, college is not the way for everybody. It wasn't the way for me. Education is. You can get your education from mentors, the internet, etc. Educate yourself on the choices you're about to make before you make them so that the consequences are good. 
I thought I was done, but I'm not done yet. I'm not quite done. My spirit's not quite done yet. More on that love thing. Listen, if somebody loves you, they're not going to let you sell your soul to help them. Somebody really loves you, they're not going to see you in pain so that they can get ahead off of your dead body. You got to understand something. When I was out there and I was doing what I was doing and I was out there trying to make it and I'm up there thinking about my family and helping them and helping people that don't help me, my grandmama called me. She said, baby, don't do it. She said, bring your ass home. We will figure this thing out together. And that we did. And that's why you have the queen of shade. If somebody love you, they're not going to let you do that. They're going to say, no, that ain't the way. If someone pushes you into that, they're just trying to get what they can get from you. That's not love. That's usury. And usury has the kindest face. It can be your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your cousin, your uncle, your grandma, your grandfather. It can be your family. It can be your friends. Don't fall for the 52 fake out, honey. My grandmama said, baby, come home. You talented. I knew from the day you was born. You sang around my house as a child. Bring your ass home and we will figure this thing out together. And we educated ourselves and figure it out we did. Oh, y'all, today is a day. God won't let me leave this alone. The divine will not let me leave this alone. Listen, 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 listen. Black people came out of slavery. Then we were placed in ghettos and told to stay put with no resources. They made us fight over scraps. And then you have to fight to get out. Fight your own to get out. Then you turn around and you go into an industry where all the talent is black and all the money holders and decision makers are white. Baby, this is rigged. And it is rigged negatively for the black man, the, the minority, because baby, we are the most talented beings on this planet. Yes, I said it. We are the most talented. The industry is predominantly black. The artists are predominantly black and Latin. Honey, please, Hawaiian, anything with any melanin in them. And the, and the suits and the money holders and decision makers are white. This thing has been rigged since we left slavery, okay? They said we will still get you and got you they did. Don't let them get you. Now I'm done. I feel it. I feel the lift. Don't let them get you. Bring your ass home and you sit with your family. Y'all educate yourselves and get out together. Not by sacrificing yourself. I'm done.